in GraphQL, we have the concept of a mutation. Now, what this means is any write operations or any operations where you change the state of an object or of something, then it should go through a mutation. Now, technically, there's nothing stopping you from performing write operations or changing things within a query, but it's really bad practice and you should not do that. If you want to change state or you want to modify anything, server side, it has to go through a mutation. So let's go into our code base and let's actually create one and let's explore. So I don't like to mix my queries with the mutations in the same file. So what I like to do is create a new file and I call it mutation.graphqls. And this is going to define a type of mutation. And you can only have one of these in your app. The same as query, you can only have one query type. So we're going to define, this is where we define our, our mutations. So all the mutations available in GraphQS. So here, what we want to do is we want to create a mutation called create bank account. And this will return the bank account. And it's not going to be null. And we're going to accept an input. And what we want to do is create We're going to create a uh, input type called create bank account input, and that's going to contain the required input parameters. And it must be there, so we mark it as uh, non null. And let's go ahead and create this, this type. So if we come into the bank, we create a new directory called input. And inside here, let's create that schema file for the create type. And in here, let's define an input type. Now, this is different than most other types you've seen here because, like I said, these are types. Here, this is an input. If you actually want to send something to the server, you must have it defined as an input type. You cannot send a type to the server. It must be input type. So let's go ahead and add, a, let's say, a first name. It's a string and it must not be null. So for the purpose of this demo, that's enough. So the user must send in the create bank account. Now let's match that in code. And how we do that is we define a package and this is where we're gonna place the mutations. So we're gonna create one called mutation. We then create a class and we're going to call it bank account mutation. And this must implement the marker interface called GraphQL mutation resolver. And this is going to be used by the framework to look, find all classes that implement this interface and then look for the methods inside that match the mutations in the schema. So we need to make this a bean. And inside here, we need to have the same method name. So we're going to create the bank account. We're going to return the bank account from this. And we need to create the bank account parameter. So we have the bank account input. So if we come back to our bank package, we then need to create this create bank account input class. And inside here, we have one parameter, which was first name. Like this. And we set this as a data class. If you have two or more uh, variables, you could actually set this to value, but um, if we set it to value, we would actually have to add an extra uh, Jackson annotation to deserialize this. And I'll make another video on that with Jackson deserialization with one field inside an object. So we set that to data for now. 
And inside here, let's add a log line. Let's just say uh, log.info creating bank account for input. And then let's just return. Uh, we need an ID. Uh, we need a currency. And we return that. So this for the, simple, for the purpose of this demo. Let's see if I missed anything. Let's start the server. And we come back to Playground. Um, and what I've done here is I've created a mutation called create bank account. And in the create bank account, I added in uh, the parameters. So that's the input parameters. And of course you have your IntelliSense here. So you must have first name. And I want back the ID and currency. And in here we have the ability to select because we return a bank account. So if I go ahead and call get sorry, create, create bank account. You'll see here, it's actually going ahead and executing that on the server, creating bank account for Philip, bank account mutation. So create a bank account for a GraphQL user. So this is the hook point where you can go ahead and actually call the web services you need, talk to the databases you need, and actually execute that change of state on the server side. So thank you very much, and I will see you in the next episode.